It is Singapore Today right here on CNA 938. On this Thursday, I got a saying that I've been saying to Lance every Thursday. <laughs> Thursday is the new Friday. All right. And that's why we do our lifestyle topics on Thursday. Uh, today, case in point, uh, we're going to catch up with some of the world of lifestyle events, things you can check out over the weekend. And if tomorrow, uh, you know, people, our listeners are not focusing at work and thinking about all these, uh, it's because it's of fault. your fault. <laughs> my fault. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, this round, uh, we have Willie Tan and Wilbur Suwan, Suwan uh, co-founders of Local Lifestyle Blog, a little big red dot. Mm. Guys, um, what do you have for us today? Hi, Hello. everyone. Hi. Where Hi. should we start? Yeah. Uh, we are, Friday have already started for us. Nice. So- See, you're also the same page as me. <laughs> same <Yeah>. page as me. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, okay, one of the places I recently visited is the Ocean Restaurant. Oh, we're starting with uh, food. And, okay, let's start with food. Yeah, let's food, do it. Food. Let's do it. Yeah. And I was feeling generous. Uh, this place is uh, at Aquarius Hotel at Sentosa. Yeah. Oh, uh, Aquarius yeah, Hotel so then, Sentosa. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, you're dining with the fishes. Um, you're seated next to the Sea Aquarium, which is uh, connected to the, the actual Sea Aquarium itself mm-hmm. and also the suites. Yeah. Here's so, the thing. Are yeah. you are you are they serving seafood? <laughs> uh no, no not necessarily. Uh there's a wide variety of uh, fine fine dining. So there's four courses, six courses, and eight courses, and also wine pairings. Okay. Right. Hey, the, yeah. hey, this yeah. has been around for a while. Ocean's been around, it's been, you know, drawing international acclaim, photos on Instagram going crazy because people talk about how luxe it is. It's a bit pricey as well, isn't it? What's yeah, anything yeah. new? Anything um, different this time around? Uh, what really uh, surprised me is the variety of wines they have. They have about 350 varieties of wine uh, and their most expensive wine bottle. You make a guess, how much is that? The most expensive wine bottle. Um, yeah. I want to say $800? No. Uh, make again, now guess. <laughs> Times how many more? 2,000? <laughs> we go 2,000. Uh, it's way above, it's $14,000. Oh. <laughs> okay. That one glass, how yeah. much? <laughs> I don't know if they sell by that glass. Like, 14, it could be 14, in the hundreds. It could be in the hundreds. Yeah. Okay, okay. Did you order that one on? No lah. No lah. <laughs> You know, my my family, we can, cannot bring ourselves to actually uh, order wine at restaurants. Because, because you have good wines at home. At home or when we travel, mm. right? When we're overseas, we go to vineyards. Yeah. It's so cheap it is. over there. Pay so. the corkage. Pay the corkage. But you know, it's nice. I mean, that they've got such a wide variety and the pairings are very interesting. Is there a sommelier down there who helps you with the pairings? Yes, yes. He, he gives very detailed uh, description on how the pairings work. So I'm not an expert, but I think after listening to him, I... I kind of, uh, my level went up, I think. You know, this <laughs> skills future course in, uh. one, in uh, <laughs> wine sommelier. Cool. Okay, so that's food. Something to check out if you haven't. Ocean, maybe for a very special occasion. It's pricey. It is pricey. Like $4 marks is what I would rate it. Uh, but it is for a wonderful special occasion. Could be good. How about the weekend? What should we be doing this weekend, guys? Uh, for activity, I have something quite interesting. Gotcha. Um, you basically visit this uh, industrial unit somewhere in Arjunit uh, area. So what you do is you just use spray can and, and draw uh, your own painting, right? So it's very interesting because uh, I do draw when I was younger, but I never draw with spray paints before. Is this something like so, graffiti, in fact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something along that line. Is it on canvas yeah. or on a wall? On uh, cardboards, okay. like uh, uh, pl- uh, those thin wooden planks. Mm. Yeah, wooden boards. And then can keep it up. You can, you can, you can keep the small one, but you have to pay more to keep it. <laughs> oh. About twenty dollars, I think. Yeah. Then do they give you everything or not? Like the face mask to wear, the protective. Clothing? Yes, there is mask. Uh, there is no clothing. I mean, as in, there's no protective clothing, but you please wear clothing to do it, do this activity. Um, yeah. So there's there's mask. There is all kinds of paints, all all colors. Mm. Uh, yeah, you can bring uh, your company friends for corporate events as well. Kids cannot, huh? Kids, uh, I, I, I don't know. I never asked. <laughs> Probably all adults. That's interesting. What's it called? Yeah. It's called Heaven Spot. Heaven Spot. And has been has yeah. this been around for a while or is it something new? I think new? it has been around. But yeah, because I'm so busy doing my stuff that I have no time to play. So I must... 
make sure everyone goes and for this. Is there like a time frame whereby you have to complete the work? Um, so you can book it by the hour. Yeah. Mm. How, and how long did it take you to complete your work of art? Uh, I think about an hour or so. Oh. <laughs> and was it good or not? Yeah. I Instagram it, I guess. I guess it's good. <laughs> okay, I go and see now. How uh, many likes did you get? <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, let's get into some CNY festivities. I'm hearing the songs everywhere. The shopping center. Yeah. It's, it's here. So I'm, the Chinese New Year is coming. Yeah. So, so I guess uh, everybody, you know, during this period, they will, of course, visit, you know, places in Chinatown. And, and for this week, I think you can head over to People's Park Complex. Whereby they actually have something in the you know off open space in front of the complex itself, mm-hmm. so you can get some festive uh, goodies and even some uh, programs ongoing uh, happening right there What, what are weekend. some of the highlights there? Well, I think there are some scheduled performance uh, for that area as well as there are some uh, stores selling some Chinese New Year goodies. Yeah, but I think for the actual site whereby. You know, everybody shops around for goodies, right? It will only happen the following week. Mm. So I think there's one more week ahead to wait. Okay. It's a great time to take photos on Instagram now also, I think. Mm. Yeah, if you want to avoid a crowd, I think it's a good time to go just, you know, just before the the full crowd comes in. Yeah. Do you know I've never been? Really? I've never been. <laughs> you haven't been to a lot of places, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> the way you describe me, I'm very soccer. Yeah, you never go JB, and then go Chinatown. Don't say never go, oh, yeah, want JB. to go. <laughs> okay. Nothing to do. Okay, cool. CNY Festive Fair happening at the People's yeah. Park Complex. What else? What else? In fact, I'm right now at uh, Suntech City. Ah, <laughs> ah do you know where's that? Uh, I was there this morning. Oh, oh really? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm actually here for the Singapore um, Motor Show. Mm-hmm. And wow, I'm amazed by the cars inside. I mean, the cars are so futuristic. Uh, there are lots of EV car shirts. And then we also just came out from the uh, Subaru show. Mm-hmm. Wow, stun show. Very amazing. Russ Swift. <laughs> Russ Swift. Yes, correct. Yeah. Wow. It's funny because after uh, this, we'll be hearing from Glenn Tan, who is uh, one of the people behind right. the Singapore uh, Motor Show. And one thing that he said is that it's very family friendly. Even if you don't love cars, you can bring your family and Jalan Jalan as well. What do you all think? Yes, of course. I mean, um, it's very uh, family friendly. I mean, it's good to take a look at what the cars of the future will be like. Um, yeah, it's just a good shopping, you know, for the whole family itself. Mm this weekend <laughs> yeah I was just telling Daniel I'm going to bring my 90 over year old father to to, to the show because uh, he loves cars so yeah. and I'm glad that uh, our interview convinced you to do that I know right yeah it worked it worked <laughs> wow our Singapore Today interviews work on us also uh, very good bad. okay yeah. I've got time for one more gentlemen one last one which one would you all suggest okay perhaps head over to Sentosa oh. festive market this weekend uh, and for this weekend only, I think they have a very special paw friendly edition. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if you have pets, um, you can bring them oh, along paw, with you. Oh, PAW. Yeah, okay, PAW. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, I mean, you can find, you know, things specifically um, for your pets and so on. So, it'll be a, quite a good mix of a different festive market in Sentosa this weekend, which I think you should check it out. Yeah. Do you know if it's indoor or outdoor? Because, you know, weather depends. Ah, I guess it's outdoor because it's on the Palawan beach. Oh. <laughs> yes. If you bring your animals, you're definitely going to look for the weather. So let's hope for good weather for people yep, to check yep, this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Willie, that's true, that's Wilbur, true. it's been a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Norris. Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Us. Check out more of their listings on local lifestyle blog called Little Big Red Dot. We've been speaking to Willie Tan and Wilbur Suan.